bookworm. Mm. Have you ever heard of the dream time? Oh, of course. Mm. <laughs> no, mm. silly. No? The Aboriginal dream time. Oh, is that book about the dream time? Yes, it is. It's yeah. a collection of tales called Jagerba, or tales from the spirit time. And I know what kind of tales you mean too. They're legends, aren't they? That's old, right. old stories. Mm. Mm. Things like, oh, how the kangaroo got his tail. The tail of a tail. <laughs> how did the kangaroo get a tail? Well, the bandicoot pulled it. You see, he yeah. was mad at the kangaroos because they wouldn't give him two of their children. Uh, Bob, mm. would you say he was hopping mad? <laughs> I don't know, Bookworm, mm -hmm. but that's another story, how the kangaroo got his hop. Oh, that's just one of the stories. Mm. Are there a lot of stories in there? Yes, there is. There's one here about mm. the parrotfish and the moon, who mm. lived together and were very good friends, until one day they had an argument. Yeah, why would they have an argument if they were good friends? Oh, well, I don't know, but listen to the story. Yeah. Parrotfish said she would leave the river bank and go to live in the sea. She said she would hide under the coral so Moon would never see her again. Oh, this made Moon angry, so he answered her like this. When you die, it will be forever. It will be the end of you. But when I die, it will be for three days only. After three days, I will live again. And what happened then? Well, Moon lived in the sky. Every month he died, but after three days he rose again, just as he said he would. He often looked for parrotfish, but he never saw her again, for now she looked just as colourful as the coral she hid beneath. Then, one day, parrotfish died, and just as Moon had said, it was forever. Oh, but I'd see parrotfish. <laughs> well, yeah. listen to the rest of the story. Some parrotfish still live under the coral today and are just as colourful, but the same Moon lives in the sky still, and dies for three days every month. Bob, mm -hmm. these stories, they explain things, don't they? What do you mean, Bookworm? Well, they explain why things are like they are. They're the Aborigines' way of explaining how things around them happened. That's right, Bookworm. Yeah. Oh, take the emu, mm -hmm. for instance. Mm -hmm. oh, in one tale, she was a woman who was throwing sticks at a quail and one of the sticks landed on top of her and she swallowed it, which is why she has such a long neck. Is that how that happened? Mm, and she also swallowed some large hot stones, which is why she lays such enormous eggs. That's a pretty tall tale. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was the story of the anteater and her baby. They don't even look like anteaters to me. Where's the spines? Well, it was from long ago in the Dreamtime bookworm before anteaters had any spines. Mm. You see, one day, Mother Anteater asked Turtle to look after her baby while she went hunting. Oh, that was kind of him. Well, while she was away, Turtle got very hungry mm. and decided to eat baby anteater. Ate the baby? Yes. That's... <laughs> Terrible. Well, when Mother Anteater came back, naturally she was very angry. I should think she would be. And she started throwing stones at Turtle, which landed on his back. Like that? Mmm, like that. Well, Turtle started to throw spears at Anteater, which stuck into her and which oh. have stayed there forever. So like now... That. The anteaters have spines like that, mm -hmm. and the turtles have hard, scaly lumps on their back like stones. That's right, just like that. Bob? Yes, Bookworm? I don't think I'd like to live in the dream time. Why not? All that fighting and oh, throwing I spears see. and things. Oh, Bookworm. Because you know what, Bob? They're sharp, look at them. Just imagine them. Stuck in you. Well, imagine if you were out here. Yeah. Had all those spears through. This week's book was Jacopa 